it's Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. This video has been inspired by somebody I saw yesterday who played a tee shot, um, screamed in agony and fell to the floor, clutching onto his back. Uh, not sure what had happened, don't know if his disc had gone or his vertebrae had gone, um, but he was in real agony and it really prompted me to remind you guys of how we should be moving uh, to avoid injury when we're swinging and I think two or three holes previous I was watching him and such a common fault that I see in the golf swing is when people hit their drives they lean back in this position from here and that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your lower back on your discs and on your vertebrae and I'd done a video on a thing called the kinetic chain uh, with, with one of the other coaches but I thought it was really important that I reminded you how to avoid injury when you're swinging the golf club. So what we're going to talk about here are common injuries in golf which are knee, lower back, neck and shoulder and uh, elbows and how we can start to avoid injuring ourselves when we're playing. So it's a thing called the kinetic chain which I'll talk about first which is how your body is designed to move as a human being not as a golfer. So let's ignore the golf but let's put that to one side for one second but how your body is designed to move and it starts with your ankles. Your ankles are really mobile, they're really good at moving, nice and free. Then we have your knee which is a hinge joint ideally if I do that from this way it just goes backwards and forwards ideally. Then we've got your hips which are nice and mobile, good at twisting. If you're good at dancing you definitely need your hips. Then we've got your lower lumbar, lumbar spine which is a common injury in golf supported through the pelvis is a fairly stable joint. Then we've got your thoracic spine, your T-spine at the top of your shoulders good at twisting and putting things in cupboards. And then we've got your neck which is holding your head on your head's a pretty heavy piece of equipment. If your neck was all wobbly, you wouldn't be able to support your head. So your neck is fairly stable. So what we have there is mobility in the ankle, stability in the knee, mobility in your hips, stability in your lower spine, mobility in your, your shoulders, and stability in your neck. So it goes in this nice chain. Now we're all told Make sure you keep your lead foot nice and still, keep your arm straight, keep your head down. So if I keep my lead foot planted to the floor, as we're all told to do, can you see what's happened to my knee? My knee has now gone in. So what I've gone is got, I've now made my ankle stable when it should be mobile. My knee has now become mobile when it should be stable. My hips have locked up. My lower back has become mobile when it should be stable. Then we're told to keep our head down and our arms straight. So how do I look here? Just feeling agony. Now, if we do La Danse de Golf and allow your ankles to move nice and freely, the whole kinetic chain now works as it's designed. So your, your ankles mobile, knees stable, you've got loads of turn in your hips, that's supporting your back. Your shoulders are nice and mobile and your head's moving freely. Remember what we wouldn't want to do is keep that head down. Now if we think of the discs and the vertebrae in the back, they're hopefully stacked one on top of the other. If we turn sideways, turn right and turn left, we don't put any pressure, any extra pressure on these joints. Now if I keep my foot still and keep my head down, I now get this horrible compression here, a massive extension here, commonly people are falling backwards and that is really going to hurt your back, certainly going to hurt your lower back, probably going to hurt, I can really feel it around my hips, I can feel it here and certainly in my right leg from there and this left hip, I can feel a lot of extension in here. Now if we're slightly fragile or we've got new hips or new knees, putting all this extra pressure on these joints is not good, it's not healthy. So remember to do La Danse de Golf every day, turn right and turn left. 
Now the other thing if we're thinking about golfer's elbow or tennis elbow which a lot of people suffer with, if I keep my arm straight as we're all told to do, keep this arm really straight and I hit a golf ball it's like I'm just hitting against a brick wall and then it starts to jar which is aggravating the joints again causing more and more injuries and then the final one where we're told to keep our head down through impact if I'm here I'm now putting loads of pressure on my neck joint so remember what we're looking for is the freedom from the ankle first let your ankles move nice and freely let your elbows bend let them soften because that's going to avoid hitting against something that's really straight so they'll nicely soften and as we've hit the ball go with it start to look towards that target and what we're looking for is you to finish nice and balanced but what you probably see here is my body's quite straight so what I'm not here is in this awkward position or worse still leaning back and I'm in this funny kind of movement on the follow-through likelihood is if you're doing that you're going to hit behind the ball or top the ball block it or just quickly flip the hands over and get that hook going so remember every day get that dance going to avoid injury and if your golf swing is hurting you there's something wrong you need to be addressing what that is best thing to do is video yourself have a look because you you know what's hurting and what isn't have a look at it and, and see if you can spot anything see if you can see yourself leaning one way or the other or if something is too straight or something looks a bit out of the ordinary then there's probably something going on that's not right and and if you've been taught a movement and that's physically hurting you i would be tempted to walk away from that because what we don't want to do is play golf with an injury because it's really really it's, it's not only does it hurt but it's almost also impossible to play a, a sensible round of golf so we need to avoid injury use the kinetic chain properly remember the the mobility the stability how it all stacks up understand that listen to your own body and make golf swings that you really enjoy and don't put any pressure on any extra joints uh, so this is really a reminder of how to move your body rather than a, a technical video. So I hope you find this helpful and if you wanted to get in touch simply you can either look on my website juliamellagolfschool.com, uh, send me a message or leave a comment below I'll happily, um, happily reply to you and remember if you ever need any help any any one-to-one -one coach or you want to join me on one of the courses you'd be more than welcome uh, and all the details are on my website. So I uh, hope this has helped and as a good reminder, let's play pain-free golf. Thanks for watching guys, bye.